we've got rats that lived 90% longer and they didn't have tumors. How can we compare a rat to a human taking that study and making it important for us? Is there, we're all mammals. I mean, we're all human or living beings, but help me understand the correlation. So, so that, that's, a, that's a great question. And, and it's really one of my kind of quests as I'm getting the word out there is, does anybody have, there has, there's a, we know there's a number, right? There's some sort of number that says, here's what happens in rats and 50%, 80%, 90% of what happens in a rat happens in a human or doesn't happen in a rat also doesn't happen in a human. There's some number somewhere. Um, we may not ever know that number, but there's, there's a number, right? And so I've been on this quest and I had a, a conversation with a professor out of the University of DePaul and, and, I, and he does rat studies and, and transition those into human trials. So I was asking him this question. It's a little bit of a long story, but he didn't give me a number. What he said is there's one particular case that scientists will use <coughs> to share, hey, what happens in a rat doesn't actually happen in a human. And the way that case study goes is it was, a, it was a morning sickness drug that they were given to rats. The rats were fine, so they started giving, doing a human trial. Uh, and it turned out that that morning sickness drug was causing deformities in the fetuses of, those, uh, of the women who were taking those drugs. Couldn't be anything more horrible than this, right? This is like the quintessential, this is the last thing we wanted to happen. And he said, scientists will say, look, see what happens in a rat. You can't apply it to the human. And then he immediately turned around and said, but had they looked at the fetuses of the rats, they would have noticed that those fetuses were deformed and they would have never gone to human trials. So it wasn't the case that what happens in a rat doesn't happen to a human. It was the case that they looked at the wrong information and then really that became obvious uh, when they went to human trials. And my takeaway from this is, is that most of what happens in a rat happens in a human. I don't know if you know this, but we are genetically closer to rats than rats are to mice. So our intuition about genetics is, is, is off. It's just inherently off. Because when I heard that the first time, I'm like, well, that's, I, I trusted the person who was telling me. But like, if anybody else had told me, I'd be like, well, that's incorrect. We need to Google this to, to, to confirm it. But yeah, we're more genetically close to rats than rats are to mice. Yeah, 